And one back to the YouTube Day video. You're going to do a bit of an 8 to 10 day look ahead uh, today. But it's taking us more or less towards the middle of August. So we're getting well on now uh, into uh, the latter part of the summer, actually. It's hard to believe it, isn't it? But we could be getting on towards late summer. But once you get to around the 15th of August, I think you can say uh, you're well and truly into uh, late summer sort of. Uh, periods then. So yeah, we're going to look at the uh, weather up to the middle of August and to be honest, there's not a great deal to look at. It looks like we're going to be in a fairly uh, flat sort of regime. Westerly winds uh, tend to dominate the Azores. So I close, but never really in a position uh, to give us some proper sort of hot weather, the sort of weather we had in July. Before I go on with all that though, I just want to talk about the advertising. There's green keyword ads on my pages at gazmobiz.com. If you roll your cursor over the green keywords, they'll display ads. But if you click through the words, you'll go to the advertised website. And uh, by doing that, you'll be supporting gazwebbiz.com. Thanks very much for doing it. So just going to start off with the uh, precipitation forecast, rain forecast for the next couple of days. We've got risk of showers in the north today. Some of those could be quite heavy across Scotland and Northern Ireland, maybe thundery too. Some showers possible across Wales, but for much of England, actually largely dry um, today. But as we go through to Wednesday, I think we do have a greater risk of showers on Wednesday. And some of those could be quite thundery, actually. Notice that very heavy area of rain just over the other side of the North Sea, over the low country. As we get very close to clipping in across southeastern parts of England, I think it'll just stay over the other side of the North Sea. But right on the East Coast, um, it could be a close run thing. But certainly very wet tomorrow for the low country. We're lucky we're not uh, getting that hitting us. Uh, but generally, it's a day of sunshine and showers tomorrow. There'll be more widespread than today, and there will be the risk of hail and thunder uh, mixed in. I mean, showers again likely on Thursday as well. Maybe not quite as heavy or as intense as on Wednesday, but even so, there'll be fairly widespread, and there could be some hail and thunder uh, mixed in with those showers as well. Now, having a look at the 500 millibar height anomalies, uh, 500 millibar, that's 18,000 feet, is an important area in the atmosphere, because that's where we've got high pressure, low pressure uh, developing, and really weather is when those areas of high pressure, low pressure move around uh, by the jet stream. Um, and this is that the mean anomalies for 8 to 10 days' time. So, as I say, this is taking us more or less towards, say, the 15th of August, so into the middle of the month. And both the uh, ECMWF, the ECM is actually uh, on the uh, left, the GFS is on the right. Both of them are singing from the same sort of hymn sheet there because they've both got a very flat sort of flow with the jet stream coming across the Atlantic, moving in uh, to the British Isles. Both of them agree on that. They've both got high pressure out in the Atlantic. Uh, around the Azores and just ridging a little bit further north was in its typical position uh, so it is quite close by but we've also got a bit of a trough of low pressure uh, actually sitting to the north on both of these um, charts so we're sort of in between uh, high pressure and low pressure there with a flat sort of westerly flow and that's typically sort of average type conditions really at any time of year that sort of pattern would give us Sort of a westerly flow, not particularly unsettled, not greatly wet and windy, but sort of gently unsettled type weather. And the Azores High, while it's close by, and it is further north than it should be, probably never really getting into a position uh, to give us a prolonged and extended spell of fine weather. I think the Manchester Ensemble from the JFS body has shown this up quite nicely. Uh, temperature Ensemble's first of all, the red line is where we should be. We see we've got to be generally around average through the coming period. Most of the members of the Ensemble are staying around that red line. It's not really deviating much, sometimes going a little bit above, sometimes going a little bit below, but really we're staying around uh, the seasonal normal in the upper atmosphere. And in terms of the uh, rainfall spikes, well, we do have quite a few rainfall spikes there. Not big spikes, so I don't think we're looking at a deluge or a washout, but sort of gently unsettled type conditions, bringing rainfall through at fairly regular sort of intervals. So the high pressure never really uh, giving us proper settled weather, but however, it is close enough uh, to mean that those rainfall spikes are not particularly intense. We're not seeing deluges coming through, but sort of just rain coming through every so often. The uh, ECMWF uh, temperature ensembles uh, for the surface, this is uh, quite interesting from the website uh, essexweather.com, uh, 
uh, we can see that, uh, again, we're going to be very much near north. Those temperature ourselves we're looking at with Jeff S. Boller for the upper atmosphere. These are for the surface temperature. Uh, uh, surface temperatures. We're going to be around the sort of 21, 22 degree mark throughout. There's 20 degrees just there, 22 degrees is just there. You see that the line generally sticks somewhere between around 20 and 22 degrees for Chelmsford in Essex. And that's a pretty good representation, I think, uh, for the coming period. Very much near normal sort of temperatures. The temperature anomalies are pointing to this as well from the JFS bar. We're around the pale colours, pale blues, pale uh, red. So again, temperatures not deviating much from the seasonal normal, very much at average sort of conditions in terms of the temperatures. But the precipitation for the rainfall, it's shown that we dry up in the south, dry up an average, a near normal really for northern England and Scotland. And again, this is indicative of the fact that we have got the Azores High quite close. It's not really over us, but it is close enough to keep the south and the southwest in particular largely dry. But we'll still keep lower fronts coming through, so we'll still keep rainfall coming through at times. So have a look at the generic charts, finally, this is the GFS. First of all, there's the high pressure in the Atlantic. It is further north and west than the Azores. Of course, it's an omnipresent sort of feature around the Azores. It's displaced further north, so it is quite close. But generally, we've got a, a slack sort of westerly flow uh, coming here, or a flat westerly flow, I should say, for the start of next week, Monday the 12th of August. So we go on uh, into next week. We're going to keep those sort of conditions going, so through into Monday the 12th, and on into uh, going through uh, my uh, pages aren't updating. There we go. We were updating to Tuesday the 13th. Now, I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, going through to Tuesday the 13th, again, we've sort of got the Azores high ridging in across England and Wales. We're keeping more of a low pressure influence to Scotland. It's generally a flat westerly flow. It won't be a heat wave, but it'll be pleasant. It'll be near normal sort of conditions for the middle of August, which is quite nice, really. Uh, of course, this time of year, it's still summer, albeit getting on towards late summer. Through to uh, the middle of next week, Wednesday the 14th, again, the low pressure's in the Atlantic. The high pressure is uh, to the south and the southwest of the country. So, again, it's very flat. We may, flat. We may be bringing a weather system through across the country, actually, uh, through the middle of next week. And as we go through to the end of next week, maybe the suggestion there that we might retain a little bit more unsettled. Although still the basic idea remains, which is the Azores high uh, out to the west and the southwest, the low pressure up to the north and the northwest, and a flat sort of westerly flow, keeping the temperatures very comfortable and pleasant. ECM WF very similar uh, for the start of next week. The high pressure out to the southwest, the low pressure up to the north of the country. And as we run through, uh, well, basically we keep a flat westerly flow going, always more settled in the south, always more unsettled in the north, with average sort of temperature conditions. And by the 10th day, by Friday the 16th of August, actually we're taking the Azores high further away and we're deepening this low pressure. So that probably implies it turns more unsettled and cooler later on. Uh, next week. And then finally for the GM, same sort of idea, which is the flat sort of westerly flow uh, at the start of next week, coming in off the Atlantic. Maybe uh, more unsettled to the north and the west, drier to the south and the southeast. Very pleasant sort of conditions, not hot, but certainly pleasant uh, with temperatures near the seasonal normal. And again, the idea from the Canadian model is very similar to the ECMWF, which is which is that as we get towards the latter stages of next week, we may weaken that high pressure and push it back down more towards the Azores and uh, deepen the low pressure to the north of Scotland. That could turn it more generally uh, unsettled and cooler at the latter stages of next week. Um, that's how it's looking. I think we're looking at a really very typical sort of spell of weather. It's not going to be hot. We're not going to go back to the heat and the consistent dry weather that we had in July. But neither are we going to have a deluge and uh, a lot of heavy rain. We're just going to have sort of average uh, late to mid to late summer conditions, pretty warm, uh, near normal temperatures really, and very pleasant. Unsettled at times in the north, less so in the south. But I think all places will get some showers coming through at least at times. And then maybe just generally turning more and settled towards the middle of August or just beyond the middle of August. But that's a long way off. I wouldn't take that. Uh, too seriously. So all in all, a very benign sort of quiet spell of late summer weather coming up. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.